Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've already been here, but if you're new here, please subscribe now for more content from me, Per. But um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look from Silly Hair. So stay tuned if you want to see how I got the bomb results. Okay, boom. So this is a look from Silly Hair Dye Jet Black. Um, I shampooed it with the Cream of Nature Argan Oil because I feel like it was more lightweight. And here I'm just kind of shaking it a little bit to show you guys how long it is and how much density it has and how good quality it is. And this wig is a 13 by 4 transparent lace Brazilian body wave wig. And I got it in 20 inches and it has 180% density but I would recommend just getting one fifty. I'm just going in and just doing a little bit of light plucky. I plucked this wig when I first got it um, seven months ago, but I just feel like it's helpful to keep going in. Like, not too much, but like if you see any areas where you want to take some hair out, just try to take a little bit of extra hair out because this wig is 180 density. That's why I would recommend 150 because it's just a little thick. <laughs> camera so I could gel down my hair a little bit easier I'm using the eco for um, colored hair and y'all you see that pimple on my forehead oh my god like it is it'll get covered up but <laughs> I'm just mad that it had to be in the video but I'm just gelling down my hair with the eco because I personally do not do a ball cap method because I don't have any hair and I usually don't keep my wigs on for long periods of time so I just don't feel the need to do all that extra work. So I just gel down my hair as fast as I can. And usually I tie it down with a scarf a little bit so it could lay down a little bit easier. But today I was in a rush so I just gelled it down and just went on to the next step. Now that my hair is all gelled down, I'm going to put the wig on to see what it's looking like. I'm just showing you the combs and the the band that it has in the back. It has four combs and a small band that you can put together to make the wig tighter. It works for me, so it just depends on the size of your head because you can choose the size of the cap that you want, I'm pretty sure, on their website. Um, so I'm just looking at it. I like the way the part looks, but I didn't like the way that the perimeter of my head looked like because, you know, I washed the lace, so it was giving me very much gray. So... <laughs> I went in with my lace tint first before I used any powder. And I got this lace tint from the wig dealer. Um, it's popular in Cleveland, but they're starting to get a lot more traction in other places. And I got it in the color Expresso, if you couldn't see. And it was only $10. I'm pretty sure they sell it on their website as well. So I'll try to put that in the description box um, below the video so you guys can look at it. And it works pretty well for me. This is probably the best lace tint that I've ever bought because I bought other ones and I just didn't really like the way that they looked on the lace. So I would really recommend this one. After I finished covering my lace with the tint, I went in with my blow dryer to make sure it was completely dry because the instructions tell you to blow dry after you apply it until it's not wet anymore. And it didn't really take that long. I feel like at the most it took me five minutes. I don't really remember how long it took, but it shouldn't take you that long for it to dry, especially if your blow dryer is on high. After the tint dries, I go in with my wig dealer spray. Um, I don't know if they have any bigger cans than this, but this spray does hold very well. I would use it over Got To Be Blue any day. Um, and I'm doing two layers, and I'm starting by my ear first and working my way around my hairline. I spray one layer, blow dry just for a couple seconds. I don't want it to be completely dry, just a little tacky. Then I put another layer on, and do the same thing, and then I put the lace over the place of the spray that I just sprayed and then I blow dry again and I'm just going to keep doing this around my hairline. And I don't know if you 
guys can see it, but as I'm blow drying the parts that I already glued down, I'm trying to press them into my hair so they're, you know, less likely to come up and that they're fully like down on my head because sometimes I feel like when I don't press it down with my finger or a comb or a toothbrush, I can see my lace lifted sometimes. So I just try to make sure that I do this during the whole process of me doing that around my entire hairline because you don't want to, you know, get to the end and then you see a part of your lace lifting up. When I'm finished gluing my frontal down, I go in with some foam and try to get kind of like a watery foam. Don't get one of those thick foams because I, I accidentally got one that white people use like for to like hold their hair down and it was way too crunchy and I was really mad um, that I wasted my money on that. So after I do that, I put foam around my edges, kind of brush them down a little bit and then put my scarf on to hold it down. And I would recommend leaving it on for like maybe like 15 to 20 minutes, but I left my zone longer because I had to do some errands. For some reason, my phone stopped recording when I did my part, so I'm just going to kind of explain to you guys what I did. I used my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't remember what color it is, but just try to use the concealer that you usually use for your eyebrows because I feel like that would be light enough for your part. And I just put a little dab on my hand, use a concealer brush and like lightly glide it into my part and then just kind of spray some holding spray into it. You don't need to use the holding spray. I've never really seen people do that, but I just feel like it just gives it that extra oomph that I need and it just makes it look a little bit more natural. And then I just make sure to brush the top of my hair down. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Um, and just using the darkest shade to fill in some lighter parts of my lace. Because my hair is blonde, it was kind of showing in some areas. So I just wanted to make sure like I darkened, darkened it up. And other places that I felt the lace tint didn't get, I tried to make sure that I got in there and put um, the contour powder in there. <laughs> Again, a little bit too. I just put a little bit on a concealer brush that I hadn't used and just dabbed it into my hairline because I feel like sometimes that helps darken it up as well. And I just make sure to go back in with my blow dryer and dry it so it's not just sitting on top of the lace. for the hot comb so I just go in with my foam again and put a little bit at the top of my head and then I go in with my hot comb and just try to get it as straight as I can because baby that thing is hot okay so whenever you use a hot comb just be careful especially if you have the one that you warm up over the stove so I'm just going in on top of my head and trying to get it as flat as possible because we want it to look like skiz out. Now we're going to style this wig. So I'm going to go in with some serum. This is the serum that I use from this brand. I think it's one of the best lightweight serums that give you a smooth finish and let your curls pop out. So I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm just gonna try to put it evenly around my head. Um, and I'm gonna go in a little bit later and put some more. But I just try to put a light layer first so I'm not weighing my hair down with a lot of oil. Okay, so now I'm just styling my hair. I'm throwing a couple curls in it. I don't think this took me longer than 10 minutes. I just, it's easy for me to curl my hair with the right flat iron. So I'm just going in and taking some sections. Some of my sections were bigger than others, but while I'm in the front, I try to keep my sections kind of small so the curls don't um, fall. And as you can see, I'm not a professional curler or anything, but my curls still come out purdy. 
Um, except for the other side. When I get some other side, you guys will see it. My front curls are giving me a really hard time. But yeah, I'm just throwing in some curls into my hair. And then you guys will see the finished product very soon. I see that like what is that like it's still a cute curl but it's not as tight as the ones on the other side and I ended up redoing it but I was just getting so frustrated because sometimes when you curl your hair like some pieces just do not want to come out correctly okay guys so I just finished curling my hair and this side of my hair was not cooperating for some reason so I'm just putting it back um while i do my makeup um so i'm gonna do my makeup real quick and then i'm gonna come back but the curls on this side came out perfect um and we're gonna see the finished product in a little bit once i have fixed the side and i get this face beat. okay so this is my finished look as you guys saw um so this hair is from steely hair and this wig is about like i want to say seven months old and i bought this I bought the wig. I didn't buy bundles in the front row. I bought the wig. So now that I've had this wig for seven months, what I will say is this girl is going to keep bothering me. It just wouldn't act right. Um, I will say that this is this wig. I don't know if it's just this hair. I won't say that all of their hair because I've seen like really good reviews on theirs. This is great hair, but this quality of hair that I have, this is curls hair that's why whenever i wear this wig i curl it because i don't know what it is it just doesn't get bone 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 straight and sometimes you flat iron hair and it looks like it has it still has product in it and i don't know why it doesn't matter how many times i wash this hair it just still won't get to that super straight that i wanted to and i have other hair that gets that straight so i'm i just be so confused because i i have hair store hair that gets super bone straight so i don't know but other than that this is like really good hair i got it for i think 150 i'll put the link in the bio um when i find it um but yeah i got it for about like 150 i bought it in in may um it took a while to come because i still that's still when everything was still um delay with shipping and stuff like that so it did take a little bit to come but i'm pretty sure that's because of quarantine and you know miss rona then got us all out here looking crazy but yeah so i think it's a good quality you know greater hair if you if you're like a curls girl like you like to throw a couple of curls in this hair for this particular wig i've seen other people get silly hair bone straight but this one that i have i cannot do it and i use the same technique that i have for my other hair and, and it doesn't work um this is curls for the girl's hair you will throw a good curl in here she will keep them okay um yeah so and then for, as for the frontal for the lace ah uh, you know it's not the best i will say it's not the best oh this pimple is just bothering me it's not the best i don't think but I think it's doable. There are some laces, obviously, that are better than others. This is not a super duper good Arrogant Tay Alonzo Arnold one. No. This is just regular with a good powder, you know, with the, some lace tint or something. You can make it work. Is it a little bit clockable? Maybe. But you and my business, don't do that. Like, back up and mind your lace, Okay. But I think it's good enough for you to put it on, and it looks as realistic as I think. Because people forget, like, unless you have this, the same quality of lace that these stylists have, it's not going to be um, the same. Like, sometimes you can finesse a really cheap lace. You can, but if it's not the same quality, it's not going to look like, you know, how Tay be doing Ari and Jade and them here. Like, it's not. You're just going to have to, you know, make it as realistic as you possibly can. And I think this, this is... It's good enough for me. Like, I definitely think it could be better. But I think that it's good for, you know, just a quick everyday wig. This is 20 inches. Um, it curls up very nicely. This is this is a go-to-work wig. Maybe, you know, a chillaxing wig. Go out with your girls, something like that. But 
this quality of hair that I have does not get bone straight. So if you wanted to press her on now, maybe you could do better than I can. Maybe you have a trick that I haven't learned, but I couldn't do it, baby. So that's just really my advice on it. I've had this for seven months. It doesn't really shed at all. I would say that on time it sheds is when I'm plucking it. It has a couple sheds like here and there, but it's not like crazy. It's how if you were to regularly brush your hair. Um, so this is good hair. I would recommend it. I, I would just try to make sure that you get, you know, one of the straight ones if you're really trying to get bone straight hair because this one that I have, it just... It won't get straight. Like, I keep saying that, but it just will not get straight. And it frustrated me at first, but I was just like, okay, this is just... If I want to wear curls, I'll just put this wig on. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like if you guys are wondering if you should buy this, I would recommend it. I feel like you should buy it because it's still quality hair. And I see... I don't see that many people who just wear straight hair, to be honest. I see a lot of people who put curls in their hair. If it's a little bump or two, they put a little something in there. So, I feel like this is a good wig for somebody who just wants to put some flexi rods throw a couple curls in it and go because it's still very good quality it's just you know hard to get it super straight don't forget so. to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video and share it if you can um i really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me so far and i'm gonna stay consistent i'm gonna give you guys more wig videos give you more videos with my brother just all types of things that i know you guys would like so i hope you guys are having a great night morning afternoon wherever you're doing wherever you are and just i'll see you in the next video